Now, I know Madison has hosted two f volleyball Final Fours in the past, but this, uh, this weekend might be the, uh, the greatest collection of individual talent that, is, that has ever been in our city. It's, uh, we've got, I think there's seven, seven players that will be here that have earned first-team All-American awards. Um, you know, when you've got uh, Stephanie Samity from Minnesota that has been uh, Big Ten Player of the Year twice, and Mac May from UCLA that has been Pac-12 Player of the Year twice, uh, Yosiana Presley that has been a Big 12 Player of the Year, Dana Retke that has been uh, Big Ten Player of the Year before, and uh, a lot of first-team All-Americans. I think you've got um, uh, – Premier setters, some of the best liberos in the country will be here this weekend. Um, it just, it's it, it's unbelievable amount of talent. If you're just a casual fan of volleyball, um, you should be missing part of uh, Thursday. I wouldn't wait till Saturday to, to come here, no matter who those two teams are. They're just four teams that are just high-level players. And, um, uh, you, you know, if, you've, if you're a parent of uh, – of a junior high or high school kid, I'd get your kid out of school and, and come and watch even that first match at, at two o'clock. They're just it's uh, some of the some of the best players that our sport has had in a in a long long time will be here in Madison, and so um, we're excited about this weekend. Excited about the opportunity of playing uh, uh, UCLA, uh, very talented team, and um, uh, it's uh, it should be an epic weekend. Thanks, Coach. Uh, questions for Coach Sheffield? We'll, we'll start in the back with TV. <laughs> Appreciate it. Coach, how do you deal with the quick turnaround that you had last week and then this week you play Thursday, you could potentially play again on Saturday against these incredible teams that you mentioned? How do you get your girls ready for that turnaround to play that next match? Well, uh, it's – Last last weekend was was pretty tough because you're playing on on back to back days, and uh, this will be the first time that the NCA has everybody uh, in the regional rounds uh, with the day in between, which was uh, um, it just it's it, we're moving in the right direction. We need to be doing the same thing for the for the opening weekend as well to just turn around and, and play somebody that, from a different league that you that you know nothing about is. Um, um, it just it's a disservice to the players and to the sport um and so to be able to have a day between right now where we can kind of prep is 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 huge um you know the second the it's a uh you know i mean what this weekend we're it's it's all about ucla i mean it's a, we're not even thinking about the this you know the possibilities of of the second match and what our prep is going to be or anything else when we if we get to that if we're fortunate enough to get to that point then we'll it'll be all hands on deck to whoever our opponent is um uh, this last weekend was pretty tough because there just isn't enough time to do any type of prep so you're really prepping for three teams for that first weekend um you know, but, you know, I don't know. That's what you have a great staff for, right? Jim. Kelly, are you writing doctor's notes uh, for Thursday? To hey, whatever we've got to do. With it, you, people need a doctor's note from me, fine. You know, I, I, you know, I was a – uh, you know, I was I was an amazing C plus student growing up there, and so I didn't even go for the the doctor's notes. I just I just not show up in it, and look at me today. I have a real question for you. Uh, <laughs> it um, in my time around you, albeit limited, I haven't noticed much stress from you or your players. Is it really as loose of a group as it looks? Have you ever seen any stress from from your from your players? Yeah, we've got quite a few players that, that can be wound tight. Um, uh, their, their coach can be wound tight at, 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 at times as well, but it's uh, – uh, Diane, Diane's around a lot. She'll, she'll concur that. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I think you, it's uh, – um, when you have a group that is – that is put in the work – and they, um, uh, there's attention to detail. You, you know, I had a player that w one time said, you know, that 
when she got to be really, really good is that when every decision, every decision went through a filter, is this good for the team or not, on and off the court. And once you start living your life like that, of just is this good for the team, is this good for, for me, is this healthy for our unit, um, trust gets built up, right? And, um, and, and when, when you start trusting, then uh, you, you don't need to, you still need to pay attention to details. You need to be on top of those types of things, but it, it, stress just gets in, in the way. And so we try to, we try to do the best we can once we get to this season, this part of the year of trust in, trust in the process, trust in our training, trust in each other. And, um, uh, and, uh, if you're able to do that, then I, hopefully stress is, is coming down. You still got to be diligent with the work that you're putting in, and we try to put our focus into that. Let's go, Jeff, first. Yeah, Kelly over on this side. Um, I know you're, obviously your focus is on the, the, the team, your match coming up, but did you have a chance to look at the, the entire bracket after the first couple rounds and anything surprise you about teams that made it through or some teams that didn't make it through? This uh, well, I mean, the defending champs are out. I mean, so you know, K Kentucky and um, and how much talent they have that that was that was probably pretty pretty surprising. But there, I mean, there's been I don't know most of the seeds have kind of made it through this point, but there's been some unbelievable matches. I mean, it just you, you know, uh, Creighton was another seed that that went down, but uh, uh, they're they're. Their maybe their best player, their All American, went down with a knee injury in the middle of a, of, of their first match, and uh, that might have been a little bit more to uh, to overcome into into that second match. But um, I don't know if it's been a huge surprise. I mean, certainly when you look at Kentucky and the players on their court, but then you you see that Illinois is the one that beat them, and my goodness, we've been up against their serve, and we know how gnarly that can be. So, I, I you know, is it a surprise? Maybe a little bit, but not massive. Just that Illinois has got the talent. When they put it together, they're a scary team. Go ahead, Dennis. Uh, Kelly, you mentioned the, the star power coming here, and uh, – the headliners obviously are May and Presley and uh, Samady, and you've played all of them, a couple of them, quite a few times. What's similar about them? What, how would you differentiate them if you were to describe them and, and the challenges that they pose? Yeah, you, the um, there's a fluidness uh, about all of them. I mean, it's a um, from an athletic standpoint, very they play at a at an altitude that very few people do. Um, they're players that have developed their game over their career. Uh, that is, uh, you know, they're it's they don't make massive amounts of errors. They they take a ton of swings for their team. Uh, let's throw Skinner in there as well. For that's tra that was a first-team All-American for Kentucky last year that, that transferred to to Baylor. Uh, those are all people that that take a huge amount of swings. Um, they're uh, uh, they're all six rotation players, um, but I mean they're all they're all contacting the ball well north of of ten feet. I mean it's not that they can just touch ten feet; they're contacting the ball up there. Uh, they, they've got incredible amount of range. Um, you know, uh, Baylor's got a setter that was a first-team All-American. You know, I think all four bros, uh, Lee bros, are amongst the top handful of Lee bros in, in the country. Um, but, uh, but the pin hitters uh, from these other three teams that are, that are coming in are really, really accomplished, really experienced um, and they don't get rattled. You know, that's one of the things I don't see from any of these teams, uh, all four teams. I mean, they're, the, I think they play well uh, uh, when teams are in the red zone. When it's, when it's one in time, I think, you, you know, those players, you know, they're going to get the ball, and they, they generally, uh, generally uh, play pretty well. Andy, go ahead. <laughs> Kelly, a terribly unfair question. You talked about Kentucky losing its best player or one of its best players. Who could you least afford 
to remove from your lineup? Who could I what? Who could you least afford to lose from your lineup of, of your of your top level players? Did did UCLA plant that question here? You want me to throw a bomb into my <laughs> my team? Right no, now? no, no. As I said, this is a very, I you know it with an unfair question. So. I, yeah, it man, I I don't know. It's um, uh, I could come right uh, answer that one way, and then the second that I answer that, something else is going to pop in my head and make me lean to another player, and then go to, and then the chain effect. You, you know, I mean, obviously. You know, Dana, one of the special things here is, is that the in, in a week from now, Dana will be probably the first and only collegiate athlete to ever be five-time first-team All-American. The, the, there's no way that will ever happen again in any sport. Um, and, uh, you, you know, it, but then so you, you'd, you'd go there, but then you'd sit there and say, Sid's not too bad of a setter. You know, that, that's a pretty good deal. And you kind of, you know, you need that to get the ball to, to middle. And then you got you got Barnsey back there saying, yo, dog, man, if I wasn't here passing the ball, there's no way you as a setter is getting the ball. And if you're not getting the ball, there's no way our, our aircraft carrier is going to be able to get the ball. So that's one of the cool things about our sport is that it's just it's um, it's a rebound sport. And it's truly a team effort to, you know, you, you've got to have by the time, you know, Dana puts up these really amazing numbers or Devin. Uh, but if you don't, ha if you don't, if you don't have the first two contacts, those two never see the ball. And, uh, or she never sees the ball the, her, her Dana or, or, or Devin or, uh, or Anna Smrek. And so, um, I don't know, I guess that's the way I'm going to answer it. Thank you for taking the time <laughs> to answer that question. I tried. <laughs> Does Barnes really say yo, dog? Daily. <laughs> <laughs> During your tenure at Wisconsin, which has been a very long nine years, in my opinion. Wow. <laughs> you sound like my wife and other, somebody else is just beat down. You know? <laughs> Wisconsin is one of only three teams that have made it to the Sweet 16 yeah. the last nine years in a row. Mm -hmm. What does that say about Wisconsin volleyball and maybe as well as Texas and who am I missing? Nebraska. Thank you. <laughs> a, um, I mean, that's a, uh, I mean, that's, uh, there's, there's a lot of great programs that, that, are, that aren't on that list, right? It's a, um, you, you know, I think that's a, it's a, it's not easy thing to do. It's not easy to advance in the tournament. Uh, it's uh, um, you know, it's it's players that um, you, you've got to have year after year. You, you, I mean, you, there's got to be a certain element of health to it, right? I mean, you, there's there is some of that. So you've got to be a little bit fortunate with that. You've got to have the talent to be able to do it, and you've got to be able to do it year in year out. And and people have got to still be excited about playing at the end of the seasons because I, I you know I, I believe that there's quite a few players once you get about halfway or two-thirds through some of these seasons there's a lot of teams or a lot of players that are just ready to man sleep in uh you, you know they they don't want to be waking up when other students around them are just getting home they're ready to do some other things and so half the battle is still having a team that is that is energized and ready to go unfortunately we've had some leaders and players that are that are driven, that that want to keep going, but um, that's cool. You know, it's it's great. It's a great accomplishment for these players that are here and the ones in the past. And you, you know, we're hoping to that um, that we still have quite a few more days with this group. I, I really I, I love coaching this group. We have time for just a couple more. Dennis, go ahead. Uh, Anna Smrek's role has kind of varied up and down earlier in the season, and she seems to have really settled into something here. The, the growth you've seen in her, especially over the last few weeks, and how she's asserting herself on the floor. You know, the, it, it, Anna, there's a uh, – she. I love how she carries herself. I love the confidence that she has. I love her willingness to just – she wants to work. She wants to be really, really good and she, extremely coachable and eager. Um but uh, she believes in herself, and um, and and that's what you, that's what you want. And uh, 
Uh, I think it's fun when it's fun to coach. Uh, I know it's fun as a player, and I know that it's certainly fun as a fan. Is when you're seeing players that are kind of growing in front of your eyes. I mean, it's just it's it's fun, and uh, uh, and with Anna, there's some times that she'll do something that I think probably surprises herself a little bit. You get this, you know, this little thing about her face is like did anybody see what I just did that was kind of neat I didn't know I could do that and um she she's a um she's a really important player for us and her role continues to expand and um it's uh, you know we're gonna need her this weekend I mean it, we talked about the firepower that is coming in here and a lot of it on the left pin I mean we've got to be our defense on the left side it's got to be it's got to be really good um, and uh, she's an important important cog in that